Welcome back to my channel. I'm Joe with Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue. So whatever happened to beer can chicken? How come nobody's doing it anymore? Well, on today's video, I'm gonna be smoking some beer can chicken. Stay tuned. All right, let's get started on this beer can chicken. I've got two whole chickens here, and they're about five pounds a piece. And the only thing that I like to do is trim it up a little bit. Let me flip it over. I like to remove the tails. This is good fish bait, by the way. If you guys are into catfishing, these chicken tails are amazing because they stay on the hooks. So we're gonna be smoking this chicken at 400 degrees. And when you have a lot of excess skin like this, it doesn't always cook down. It's kind of rubbery, so I like to take off the excess skin. All right, so I've got the chickens trimmed up. I'm just gonna move them aside and show you guys how simple it is to prepare your beer can chicken. Number one, you need some beer can chicken holders. And I am using the official beer of Texas, Lone Star Beer. No, this is not a sponsored video by Lone Star. Pop it open. Now you wanna get your beer at room temperature, okay? Just slide it in your beer can holder just like that. All right, I'm gonna set this aside for a minute. I'm gonna season up our chicken. And oddly enough, PS Seasoning has a beer can chicken seasoning called Cock A Doodle Brew that smells amazing. I've probably had this rub for about a year and a half, have never used it, but it smells amazing. So I'm gonna season the inside of the cavity, which is a must anytime that you're cooking chicken Season the inside of the cavity with enough rub. All right, and proceed with seasoning the outside of the chicken. No binder. Add enough of the rub. It smells so good. Get the armpit of the chicken. All right, so I've got the chicken all seasoned up. Last thing we're gonna do is tuck these wings, just like that. That way it looks like the chicken is kicking back on the beer can chicken holder. So pick up your chicken, get your beer can chicken holder, and sit your chicken with the legs up front, right on top of your beer can chicken holder, just like that. So looks like he's sitting there with his arms behind his back. So I'm gonna prepare the other one, and I'll bring you guys right back. All right, so I've got our chickens all seasoned up. They are kicking back and cannot wait to get inside the smoker. By the way, this rub from PS Seasoning does have natural ale flavoring, so it's already gonna taste amazing. A Little bit of beer, plus with the added beer cans inside these chickens, we're gonna have some nice, moist, juicy chickens. Let's head outside to the smoker. All right, so I've got the Yoder Wire 640 pellet smoker running at 400 degrees. And as I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna be smoking these chickens at 400 degrees. Now, most pellets will not be releasing this amount of smoke at 400 degrees. Trust me, I think I've used them all by this point. But these smoking pecan pellets that are made from 100% pecan shells themselves, they are the smokiest pellets that I've ever used. If you guys are chasing a smokier flavor on your briskets, chicken, pork butt, doesn't matter what you're smoking on your pellet smoker, Give these smoking pecan pellets a try. I'm gonna be leaving a link to the website so you can order yourself a few of these boxes. All right, let's load up our beer can chicken. Look at that, it's smoky. That's what I'm talking about. 400 degrees and we're getting this kind of smoke. All right, so I did take the top shelf off of my YS640. I'm just gonna grab one of these chickens right here. Place that right there. Here's our second chicken. Slide it right over here. All right, check out those chickens. It looks like they're kicking back inside of a sauna. So I'm gonna smoke this again at 400 degrees for one hour, and I'll bring you guys right back. All right, and just like that, one hour has passed. Let's take a look at our beer can chicken. Oh, baby, look at that. They're still cooking back with their arms behind their head. Oh yeah, that chicken's getting nice and crispy. 
let's get an internal temperature. I'm gonna be checking the internal temperature with my Thermopro Lightning Instant Re Thermometer. I gotta tell you, if you guys are not cooking with an Instant Re Thermometer, you have got to get one. It is a game changer. So let's check the temperature. And one thing I like about this thermometer is that it reverses when you flip it. Check that out. Is that pretty neat or what? All right, so let's take a temp right here on the breast. We're sitting at 127, let's call that. I'm gonna try to get that thigh from the front here. There we go. Sitting at 135 degrees or so. So I'm looking for an internal temperature on the thighs and legs of about 180. Chicken is ready to eat at 165 degrees, but trust me, the legs and thighs can take those higher temps. Now, as far as the breast, I'm looking for about 160 degrees. That's a good thing because the legs and the thighs are closer to the heat down here. So that should get us about 180 degrees, and about 160, 165 on the breast. Once this chicken is ready, we'll see you guys inside. Stay tuned. All right, so our beer can chicken is ready, and the total cook time, believe it or not, was two hours. We were at 180 degrees right here on the thighs and legs, and about 163 on the breast. So now, first of all, I gotta tell you, the aroma that's coming from this, it's amazing. You can definitely smell the beer, the rub, the smokiness of this chicken. I mean, look at that color. It is beautiful. So now, I have got to remove this chicken from this holder, so I'm just gonna lift it up. Look at all these juices. So I do wanna mention that this beer was at room temperature, okay, it was not cold. I think that helps evaporate the beer a little bit faster and marinating the chicken. So what I'm gonna do here is, I think I'm gonna take the leg off. Look at all these juices, man. This chicken is ridiculous juicy. I mean, do you guys see all these juices coming out of this chicken? And I'm gonna get a couple of slices from the breast right here. This chicken, I gotta tell you, smells amazing. The skin is nice and crispy. And look at that, nice and juicy. Let me put this knife here. Look at that. Look at the juice is just running out of this chicken. Ridiculous. And there's definitely an aroma of beer in this chicken right here. Look at that. Really nice and juicy. Look at that. Does that look good or what? All right, let's give this chicken a taste. All right, let's give this chicken a try and see how we did. I'm gonna eat this piece right here with a nice crispy skin. Really nice and juicy. Look at that. Let's squeeze it and see if it's juicy. Oh yeah, look at that. Ridiculous. Here we go, my mouth is watering. Mmm. You know, this chicken is really good. Tender, juicy, the rub is fantastic. The smoky flavor is there. Very subtle beer flavor, but I gotta tell you, it's really super tasty. I'm gonna grab a piece of this leg right here, nice and hot. Mmm. I can't believe it took me this long to try this delicious rub from PS Seasoning, Cock a Doodle Brew. You guys have got to give this a try. It makes me wanna do beer can chicken every single time I smoke chicken. It is that good. It's hard to believe that it's been almost four, maybe five years since I've smoked some beer can chicken. This is absolutely delicious. Grab yourself some of that PS seasoning, some smoking pecan pellets, and smoke up some beer can chicken. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If this is your first time to my channel, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Until next time, Joe with Smoking Joe's Play Barbecue. See ya.